So, wow, it looks like we are eating good with the PS4 and PS5 jailbreaks at the moment. Not only do we have the Y2JB, the user land exploit that is getting chained with the lapsed kernel exploit and looks like that could release any minute. We'll be able to jailbreak our PS5s using the YouTube app. But we just got a bombshell dropped by the flow. He says, rest in peace, my PlayStation exploit died. He then links to some source code there over on GitHub that we can see here. So this appears to be a kernel exploit for the PS4 and PS5 that he's loading through uh, the Blu-ray exploit or some Blu-ray exploits by the looks of things. So he says here it works up to PS4 firmware 13.00 and PS5 12.00 and it was patched in 13.02 for the PS4 and 12.02 for the PS5. So these were the security updates that were released simultaneously for the PS4 and PS5 that we covered in a news update not too long ago when those released. So that is what those updates were about. Now, interestingly, there was no update on Hacker One with any kind of report for this and the flow just dropped it. So it would appear that this might be what the flow was using to jailbreak his own consoles, because typically what you see from hackers in the scene that develop exploits, they usually leave one exploit back for themselves. So one that they keep private and they don't release to anybody so that it keeps working on the latest firmware so that they can continue to jailbreak the latest firmware. So this exploit was likely that private exploit that he was using. And then, you know, PlayStation, for whatever reason, figured out that vulnerability and patched it. And so because he never reported it to Sony, he doesn't have to keep it private for several months and request disclosure through that program. So because it's been patched, he can just drop it immediately whenever he wants and he has just dropped it now. So I'm over the moon here that this exploit has been released. Although I have to admit my timing is terrible with the release of my State of Jailbreak video. I literally just put that out not even 24 hours ago and it's already out of date because we have new exploits now for the PS4 and PS5. So anyway, that was probably just really bad timing on my part, but uh, Lightning Mods does have a point. It does seem to be whenever I drop a State of Jailbreak video, some new exploit comes out very shortly afterwards. So uh, yeah, maybe I should be posting videos like that more often and we'll get more exploits dropped. So the situation at the moment seems to be that this is just the kernel exploit code that has been released here by the flow and not a user land exploit that is used to load this. And we're not sure if, you know, the flow will actually release the user land portion. I feel like if he was going to, he probably would have released it at the same time. So it looks like it's just the kernel exploit. So Generally, you would think no big deal. We have plenty of other user land exploits ourselves for the PS4 and PS5 that are public that we could chain with this. However, it appears that due to the nature of this kernel exploit, some of those user land exploits cannot be used to load this. So Gejine has confirmed that the YouTube jailbreak cannot be used to load this kernel exploit for the PS5. It looks like the Lua exploit also cannot be used for PS4 or PS5. Same with the Netflix application, which is being looked at as another user land exploit similar to YouTube jailbreak. Uh, that one doesn't appear like that's going to work either. So and the number of user land exploits we can use to trigger this kernel exploit seems to be quite limited. So according to Zeko, he seems to suggest that Mastercore could be used along with Blu-ray jailbreak, of course, BDJB and the WebKit exploit. So it needs to be a privileged application or process like Mastercore, BD Jailbreak and WebKit, whereas the other user land exploits do not appear to be compatible. Now that is pretty limiting because uh, Mastercore, of course, is the exploit using the Okage Shadow King PS2 game that you have to have licensed on your console to be able to use that to load the jailbreak. So that's not really going to apply to many people there. Then we have the BDJB Blu-ray exploit. Well, on the PS4, that's not too bad because we do actually have, um, of course, Gejinez BD Jailbreak that we're using to run the current 12.02 laps kernel exploit for the PS4 to jailbreak up to 12.02, but that user land exploit actually works up to 12.50. So we could chain this with this new kernel exploit and perhaps use this to jailbreak up to 12.50. So in the short term, we might see a jailbreak up to 12.50 using this new kernel exploit released by the flow for the PS4. And we've also heard a lot about a private Blu-ray exploit working up to 12.52 that has not yet been released. So if we did see something like that release, then that would bump up the potential jailbreakable firmwares for PS4 using this exploit from 12.50 to 12.52. But of course, I'm basing this off what's actually currently available right now and not something that uh, is yet to come out.
The issue with PS5, of course, is that the Blu-ray exploits we have on the PS5 only works up to 7.61 which already has a jailbreak, so that really wouldn't help either. And the current WebKit exploit we have is still PS3, which again works on much older firmwares for the PS4 and PS5, so that wouldn't really be useful to chain it with that exploit either. So we really only have MasterCore and the Blu-ray jailbreak for PS4 right now that we could use to chain with this. But again, this is all early developments. We don't really have, you know, 100% set in stone information on this yet, so just again take everything with a grain of salt but it looks like that could be the challenge in the short term here is finding a user land exploit that we can use to load this new kernel exploit to actually allow us to jailbreak higher firmwares but having the limitation be user land based rather than kernel based is actually a good thing because kernel exploits tend to come out um, a lot less frequently than user land exploits do so you know this is probably the more advantageous position to be in rather than having lots of new user land exploits and no kernel exploit that we can actually load with them. So in the short term, perhaps 12.50 could get jailbroken on PS4 using this exploit. And of course, if the flow or a new user land exploit gets released, which might happen now that we have a new kernel exploit, there might be some exploit developers out there who have user land exploits they know in private that they could use to load this. And you know, now that there's a new kernel exploit out and there's a need for a user land exploit like that, we might see one drop soon. So that's another thing that could happen. There's also some suggestions that some of the reports on Hacker One that have not been disclosed yet may contain some new Blu-ray user land exploits that could be used to trigger this bug on higher firmwares. And of course, there's always the off chance that perhaps the flow might just release whatever user land exploit he was using to load this kernel exploit in the first place. So anyway, that's kind of the situation that we have at the moment. I don't really have any more information to bring to you guys yet on this. We'll get more information as time goes on. Of course, this was only dropped a few hours ago. So we'll need to give it some time for the dust to settle. And the YouTube exploit is also getting updated. We've had some updates to improve the speed and reliability. The 1.2 version looks like it's right around the corner. So we could be seeing that release any moment with the lapse kernel exploit also chained with it so that we could use the YouTube app to jailbreak the PS5. So that one is also getting very close. So yeah, like I say, we're eating good at the moment here with jailbreaking the PS4 and PS5 with all of these new developments. So anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one or found the information useful. If you